Hello YouTube, we're going to lap the valves in the Briggs and Stratton 16 horse there. You know, when I mentioned them shiny spots and the other spot, I could be wrong. It could be seating right in the middle of it. But we're going to put some compound on it and see what happens. I still say this valve should be cut. I don't want to get out my little lathe because I do not have a carbide bit good enough. You're not going to cut that with high speed steel. So, we thought about kind of smoothing that taper out. You know, where it's kind of war. Figuring it might want to stick as it goes in and out. We haven't decided yet. We're going to see how it feels when it goes in and out of the hole there. So we'll take you outside. We'll show you just a little bit. We don't want to set up the tripod or nothing. We'll show you what it looks like before we start lapping it and what it looks like after. So that's what we'll do here. So stay tuned. Okay, it's windy and cold. We're lucky with 60 degrees. I'm trying to get a picture of that, what it looks like. Okay, that's what it looks like before we get started. I have sanded this off with some rough emery type paper. It's good enough. It'll seal. And uh, air out your piston there with it up. You know, take an air hose, try to get some of that stuff out. You don't want that grit in the cylinder when it's running. This will be all flushed out. Uh, we have a rag down here. See where I put all this cardboard stuff in case I lost one of them keepers? That's how scared I was of losing one. Even though I had my magnet. Because there's the valve pocket area right here. Where that rag shoved in, so... We're going to take that out. It'd be smart to do. Yeah, this will all be flushed out when we're done. See that where I filled that hole so it couldn't fall down the engine? I think you can see it. Okay, let's get to work. Okay, can you see the gray in between there? And you see the gray on there? That's where it is sealing. So it is still between the two shiny spots. I said this valve should be cut because this lip, in my opinion, could keep the valve from shutting tight. You know what I mean? Because it's beggar. You know what I mean. Let's see if we can. I don't think we can get the angle that we want. I think you know what I mean. I need a piece of cardboard back to that light from the house. See right there? It's just blinding. I need a cardboard wall up here to block that blinding light. Because it is cloudy today. But I need to learn to do that. Okay, we're going to keep going. This is the core stuff. So you got to go to the very end and kind of keep going because it gets kind of smoother because that's all they had in the part store. There's two different grinds of this compound. I looked up the part number. So stay tuned. Okay, we're going to go with that. It looks pretty good. And it never did scrub those shiny spots. Okay. Let's see if I can get this in here on camera. Oh, sure, I did it all in times. Now I can't. You can see what I mean. The, the ridge is because that's up here. So I was worried that, you know, that ridge was keeping the valve from going down there far enough so I could lap it. That's with it dry. There's not much wobble needed. There's some wobble in the valve, guys. You can see it, but what do you think? Focus. I'm going with it. Okay, we're gonna show you the exhaust valve at the death because we want you to see how bad it really is pitted after I wire brushed it. Okay, see how glue that see how glue that good works? Hell <laughs> <laughs> Ain't fun, I want to do it. I really cleaned that up on my scrubby wheel and stuff. See how good that glue works? I mean, I had to take a little bit of force to pull that off. It was suctioned right on there. Okay, exhaust valve. See that? See that has a ridge at the top bottom two simmers? See that where you think it should seal where it's darker? Look how bad that is. I, mean, I took a lot of cleaning. I didn't want to take a scrub. I didn't want to take anything, you know, like a sandpaper scrubby wheel, you know, get it out around. We're going to do that with the lapping combat. Look at that. Why don't you see it before I do it? That's nasty. Okay, we're going to take a break. See the battery's getting low on the camera. And we're going to go out and do this one. Notice the exhaust has a step down in it and the stem. What if it's for building up carbon or something near the valve guide? I did sandpaper. It's really good with 1,200,000 grit sandpaper to get some of that carbon off. Okay, stay tuned for the last bout. We'll make this as painless as possible. 
Well, what do you think? <laughs> you know it's better. Well, guys, but why did I get too close? Much better, and I did this a long time. Of course, I did that a long time. My arms wore out. Yeah, I like that. Let's see if I can get this in here on camera. It's not as easy as you think. See? See what I mean? I'm looking around the. Metal on metal. There you go. We're done. We're done with this video. This is a simple video. Do a little focus there. Okay. Thanks for watching.